Hey guys, it is me, Felicia, at Arizona Facial Plastics. Spin around, you can see my cool painting behind me. And today, we are going to be demoing, if you can hear me, and everything's good, just give me like a little thumbs up or something. So the exciting thing about today's treatment that we're gonna be demoing is that it's something super new and really perfect for summertime. And I don't think there's anybody else in Arizona that's offering this. Um, come into the treatment room and the lighting always gets bad. Let me open the natural, the natural light windows here. So last time that I did a live, I was having a hard time when I would flip the camera because it cut me off. So today I'm not going to try flipping the camera. I'm just going to keep it as is. And then we'll do like last time where I show you. And if you have any questions, go ahead and, you know, type those in. I'll try to answer them while we're doing the treatment. And the other thing that we would love some help with is this is called the Arizona Facial Chill Treatment. And, you know, we're having a little bit of a hard time naming it. But when you guys are watching, if you come up with any good names, go ahead and type them in the comments there. Type us a little note because we are looking for an awesome name. It does have to start with Arizona Facial. Hey, whoever you are. So I'm just saying that as we... Um, go through this treatment today. We're going to be talking about this newest treatment that we have that nobody else in Arizona is doing right now. And we're having a little bit of a challenge naming the procedure. So if you come up with a name, go ahead and send that over to us in the comments and we will be happy to consider those. Okay. So today we have with us Anais. Anais Vaughn <laughs> is one of our estheticians here. Yes. And she has helped us innovate this amazing Arizona facial chill. That's the treatment that we're going to be demoing today. And I'll talk you through the different parts of it. Yeah. Anais, what's fun about this so, treatment? This is just a really nice treatment um, to get during the summer. Arizona gets really hot, as we all know. So sometimes laser procedures and things like that aren't ideal to get during the summer. But luckily, we have this amazing device that helps to cool your skin down during um, those procedures when we get them. Yeah, so I'll talk a little bit more about what the device is and how it works. And then um, open your eyes, Antoinette. We don't want you to look like a corpse like the last time. <laughs> this is Antoinette, and she is going to be our model. She also happens to be one of the, um, actually the national U.S. expert on the Frozen Sea technology that we will be using today. And this is our Frozen Sea device. We'll go ahead and get it turned on here in a little bit. This is a really cool new machine that uses frozen frozen carbon dioxide and the frozen co2 gas is shot shot shot's kind of a hard word what would you say pumped fused directed at the skin and um with you know a good amount of pressure i've had the frozen sea treatment myself but there is a good amount of pressure behind the frozen co2 that we are using and so the idea is that if you're not going to be getting lasers in the summertime, which generally it's not the best time to get lasers because it's so hot and there's so much sun exposure, what can you do throughout the summer to keep your face really looking clean and clear? And so this treatment that we've designed has three components to it, and it's super refreshing and also excellent for your skin. It's really going to help keep the redness down. It's going to be very cooling and very hydrating. All right, step one is underway here on East. What are we up to? So right now we're just cleansing Antoinette's skin. We're just getting her prepped for the treatment. And just nice and foamy, just making sure that we're creating a nice clean base for our treatment. Okay. Um, and so, you know, here at Arizona Facial Plastics, and especially with this Arizona Facial Chill procedure, we really try to make it a relaxing experience. Like we are a medical spa directed by a physician who is guiding all of the treatments. And actually, Dr. Farhan Tihizadeh is the one who identified this Frozen Sea experience, um, this new device, as something that would be really beneficial for the skin, especially, like we said, in the summertime. And so um, we have been doing some different studies in the office on this device to just see and get photos. If you guys have been here before, you know that we are really big on documenting and on education. So we are taking photos of everybody who gets this frozen sea treatment uh, just to really see how it helps the skin. And we've noticed some cool things that it does. Cool, haha. -ha. Um, <laughs> every, time, every time I say the word cool in relation to this treatment, it's gonna be like, oh yes, frozen. So I have had the frozen sea treatment. It is very cold. 
But the cool thing about the machine is that it shuts off automatically when your skin gets to the desired temperature. So we are going ahead and finishing the cleansing process here. What cleanser did you use? Is there like a certain one that you start with or does it just depend on the person's skin? Um, I just like to use a nice foamy cleanser because it just helps to remove all the debris from the skin. It really helps to cleanse um, the pores out right before we're about to start. And so the next step that we're going to do now, I have my steamer going on right here and I'm going to go ahead and apply that papaya enzyme to Antoinette's skin. Okay, so tell us about that first, or I guess second step. First step is cleansing. Yes. The second step that we're doing here is the papaya enzyme yes. facial. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply mm -hmm. her enzyme on, and it's just going to help to soften her skin really nicely. Um, it's gonna give her a really nice glow afterwards. And you know, with enzymes, sometimes the skin tends to get a little bit um, irritated. It's very normal because it is an active fruit acid. So the frozen sea is the perfect combination to do with this treatment because it'll help soothe that irritation and it'll give a really nice glow to the skin. Awesome. And so when we were thinking of, you know, how can we turn this frozen sea experience into a true experience, right? How do we make the Arizona facial chill? Anais identified that um, the Hawaiian papaya enzyme, um, that's one of the SkinScript products. And again, we love using SkinScript as part of our hydrofacial, as part of our other treatments, because they do really beneficial things for the skin. And again, another idea behind the cleansing and now the enzyme mask is that if we can get a little bit of exfoliation on those top layers of skin, nothing too aggressive, but again, taking off, loosening some of that, those dead skin cells, then it will be much easier for everything that we do to the skin afterwards to have the effect that it's supposed to have. So, with the Hawaiian enzyme, again, that's a natural fruit acid. Actually, I'm gonna grab it and show it to you so you can see. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get this. We have it though, so come here and try the Hawaiian. Um, this is Skin Scripts um, tropical, tropical Papaya Enzyme. And again, the point of that enzyme is just to do a little bit of exfoliation to the skin um, so that we get a little bit of activity. How's that uh, papaya enzyme feel, Antoinette? It looks, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it looks weird. It feels, it feels really cool. It smells really good. Oops, there you are. Okay, it smells good. So if any of you have ever eaten a papaya, um, you know, in the middle, it has a lot of those black seeds on it. And the black seeds are kind of cool because they're encapsulated in like a, um, a water, a hydrated gel. And what I see here in the Hawaiian facial um, enzyme is that these little black dots that are on here, uh, it looks like they might actually be bits of the seeds mm -hmm. of the papaya that have been ground up. So that's cool because actually whenever you take the skin of the, of the papaya seed off, it does have a really nice texture where you can kind of imagine putting them, a bunch of them on your face and rubbing and it would be a really good exfoliator. So, okay, so we've got that enzyme on and how long do we normally leave an enzyme on for Anais? So we typically leave it on for about anywhere between seven to ten minutes. It really just depends on how well the patient can tolerate it as well. So if it's feeling a little bit too tingly, a little bit too active, then we'll just go ahead and remove it with a nice warm towel and just let the skin kind of rest for a little bit and then we can go on to the next phase of the treatment. It's so, like a, it's like a out of 10 in terms of the mm -hmm. activeness of it or, yeah activeness yeah. okay cool so um okay. it's a little bit active Working. it feels good and you know i can see antoinette's face starting to get a little bit red from it and again if you're just joining us what we're doing today is we're looking at this amazing new treatment that we have that's perfect for summer it's called the arizona facial chill I'm not 100% in love with the name. If you think of something better, <laughs> give us a call. And it's the perfect treatment for the summertime here in Arizona because it's going to help you maintain your skin through the hot summer months. It's super cool and refreshing. And it uses um, this amazing new device that we have that I think we're the only ones in Arizona right now that have it, guys. This is the Frozen Sea. And again, this device is pressurized carbon dioxide that's blown onto the skin. Um, in a pretty, I mean, you can definitely feel the air when it's blowing on you and it rapidly cools the skin to what temperature, Antoinette? Uh, it gets to about, I think it's at 7 degrees Celsius. So it takes the skin. Below, it's below, or like below 32. It's freezing. 
freeze, it freezes. It gets to a freezing point. So it, it actually takes your skin down to a freezing point. You don't have to worry. It's just for a second. We're not, you know, icing your face or anything like that. And um, what happens is that when we cool the skin that rapidly, it does some things to the blood vessels in the skin. So one of the things that it does is it causes the blood vessels to contract. And then when you take the coolness off, they quickly start to um, expand again. Dilate. Dilate. There you go. That's the word. So when you have that contraction and dilation of the blood vessels, it actually improves oxygen flow to the skin. And it does some beneficial things. So even though Antoinette is supposed to be relaxing because she's the expert on it, we'll go ahead and ask her. So what are some of the things that you've seen from the rapid dilation and contraction? Pore reduction. Um, it actually helps to kill bacteria also. Um, the texture of your skin improves if you have any inflammation redness rosacea it'll help um, alleviate the redness as well uh, there's a lot of really cool things that we're currently finding um, that'll it'll help with the skin so it's a great treatment it's really quick and it it works it like it's working. yeah and then the couple things that I've noticed whenever I've had it done is that my skin just looks really pretty afterwards like you can see today I haven't done a whole lot to it I have a little bit of redness um, and then after I have the frozen sea, um, the facial, the summer, the Arizona facial chill, after I have that treatment with the frozen sea experience, um, really the skin tone is much more even and for me much lighter, like just a much better color. And the pores are, my pores are much smaller. I'm not going to do a close up for you, but I do tend to have pores that are on the larger side. So this helps to shrink them up. And um, it helps, like Antoinette was saying, with reducing the redness in the skin. So really bringing that down. And then again, because it's cooling, um, you know, it just feels really nice for the summertime. So it's not so cold that it's unbearable. Um, I do get a little bit of an ice cream headache sometimes. Um, but overall, it's a really nice thing. <coughs> so let's see. What's the, um, so what's the steamer doing on it, East? Well, wow. so right now the steam is just helping to soften the skin along with the enzyme. Okay. So we're getting pretty close to removing it soon. And so we're leaving it on for what was that about 10 minutes? Yeah, it was about like seven to 10 minutes is the, the ideal time that you want to keep it on. And when you guys come in to have this um, Arizona facial chill experience, we will not be talking at you the whole time. We'll turn <laughs> the lights down and you can really have a relaxing experience with it. Okay, I think it's time to go ahead and take it off. Okay, it's just going to go ahead and remove the mask. And again, that is the Hawaiian Papaya Enzyme from Skin Scripts. And um, we'll just go ahead and use the towel to remove it. So some people have asked, you know, how is it different to have a CO2 gas blown onto the face why are we using carbon dioxide instead of oxygen and it's really interesting there's been kind of this resurgence in looking at gases and the impact that they can have on the skin so people are using nitrogen for things um, they are again using carbon dioxide and if you're familiar with carbon dioxide most people have been using it to power lasers right like hot lasers so you've maybe heard of a fractional co2 laser um, but the idea was if we took these different gases and we used them to cause temperature changes in the skin rather than just using oxygen, would the carbon dioxide do something and have a different effect on the skin than using just oxygen? So that's part of what we're looking at with, um, with the CO2. Sorry, she's taking off the papaya enzyme. And I'm not going to lie, it's reminding me of my days cha changing diapers. <laughs> The papaya <laughs> enzyme. <laughs> it looked gross. It looked gross it's while she was natural, taking it so off. The fruit pieces are still in there. There's like chunks of papaya and papaya seeds on the towel. Well, it feels amazing. All right, feels amazing. Smells really good, and <laughs> and when you're having it done, you are not gonna see what it looks like. So don't worry about that. It's not gonna gross you out. <laughs> um, so I want you to look at her skin because let's see, you get a good picture of it there. It is a little bit red. You can see here. Right. Um, and then through the T zone, hopefully the color is looking good. Definitely got a little bit of activity from the enzyme. Right. Which is that's exactly what we're trying to have. 
because that's showing us that something was happening, causing those changes in the skin, loosening it up so that Anais is able to get those off. So we are getting the machine set up now and um, this is a three-part treatment. Well, four if you count the cleaning at the beginning, but we do that for all our treatments, so I'm not gonna count it. Um, but the first step is that Hawaiian papaya enzyme. The second step is the frozen sea with the um, frozen carbon dioxide. And we're gonna go ahead and blow that onto the skin. And then we have a third step, which is really cool. So one of the innovations that Anais came up with that we actually have been combining with many of our treatments, I think we use it. Um, Anais, are you doing the personalized masks as part of the hydrofacial? Yes, I am. So it's part of our hydrofacial, our amped hydrofacial experience. We have a little machine that will do um, personalized masks. So what does that mean? Masks are all the rage these days, right? Like you can buy them. I think I even saw masks at the grocery store the other day. But there's all of these different masks that you can use, and people say they do different things for the skin, uh, which is awesome. And so the device that um, Anais found is where we can actually make customized masks. So what we've been doing is saying, okay, how can we make these masks to just complement whatever treatment we are performing in the office? And in thinking about this Arizona facial chill, right? Again, give me some ideas if you want a better name for it. But in thinking about the Arizona facial chill, we were really saying, okay, we've got the papaya enzyme to loosen the skin at the beginning. We've got the frozen sea to really do the hard work of the treatment. And what could we do to kind of, you know, bring things home at the end? So Anais had the amazing idea to do a chlorophyll cucumber mask. Now, this is our little device here. Hello, customized face mask maker. Where is this from? It's probably Korean, right? Yeah, everything good in aesthetics comes from Korea. And on the side, you can see it has the directions. First step, water. Second step, fruit juice. Third, collagen peptide. And so we can really customize the mask however we want. So we've gone ahead and made um, a chlorophyll cucumber mask that we will use at the end. And now we put some cool things into the mask that really help the skin. One of them is Bintaren and Bintaren is a peptide that is super hydrating for the skin. This we've used a chlorophyll cucumber water to help infuse the skin with the beneficial effects of cucumbers. You know, all those facials where you see people with the cucumbers over their eyes, well, we've got it in the mask so you don't have to look funny. Um, and then the chlorophyll, Anais, um, I'm gonna have you tell us why chlorophyll. So chlorophyll, or better as a known, like as we know it is just cucumber so chlorophyll is just the chemical that helps make things green like spinach and cucumber and everything so it's a really nice cooling mask and again it's just going to enhance the effects of the frozen sea which is already causing a really nice calming effect to the skin and really helping to bring that redness and irritation down so it's just a really nice add-on to do after the frozen sea cool so the chlorophyll and then again we've got that bintaren peptide in it and it's also cool, right? Like the machine makes a nice little sound when you make the mask. But then we also have the ability to customize the scents on it. And so if you are wanting, you know, um, like a mint scent would be a nice accent for this. Uh, maybe some lemongrass. We do have the option for you to customize the face mask so that you can really make this a very personalized experience and get what you want out of it. Okay, so we've got the frozen sea up and ready to go, and I'm not gonna lie, we were having a little bit of an issue with the power cord, but we got it turned on, yay! yay. <coughs> so, okay. step one. So what we're doing right now is we're applying some glycerin to Antoinette's skin, and what it's gonna do is just gonna help to create a barrier for the skin so that we're not actually freezing the skin itself, it's just a nice medium in between. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that into, or on her face. So we're just spreading it around and it just, just helps to protect the skin from over freezing. And glycerin is basically, is it like a sugar water or something? Antoinette, mm -hmm. do you know? Yeah, it is. It's at, and it's, it's really hydrating too. You see glycerin in a lot of skincare products and that's part of your hydration, the hydration factor. Cool. So, and it feels pretty nice and smooth when we put it on here. Um, 
Also, it always feels good to have somebody paint on your face. Maybe my favorite. Yeah, maybe my favorite part of a facial is, can you get the paintbrush out, please? (laughs) So we just put the glycerin on. Now we're always wearing the eye shields because part of this device is that it does use um, sort of an infrared laser beam to judge the temperature of the skin. And we're also always careful here to protect the eyes during any of the treatments that we're doing. So Antoinette has the the goggles on and now that she's got it completely protected here this is our frozen sea device to show you that there and the cool thing is that it has the temperature indicator on here so once Anna East starts with the handpiece we'll be able to show you um, you know how the temperature of the skin is actually cooling through the treatment now it does um, it does make a little bit of noise when it's on there she is with the handpiece, and it takes a second for the air to cool down. So depending on how loud it is, give me a thumbs up if you can still hear me, even with the, even with the machine on. Can you guys hear me while she has that on? It's so what? Yeah, it's gonna get loud when it's on. So I'll maybe talk a little bit, but if it's too loud, just kind of watch. Now the whole um, treatment with the frozen sea part of it, this part of it is pretty quick, because again we're just trying to get the skin. All right, there she goes with it. All right, okay, go ahead. Here we go. So you can actually see the gas coming out of the handpiece. And if you look kind of at the at the skin, I'm not sure if it'll show up here, but one of the things I love about it is that as she's going, you can see the hairs on the person's face freeze like little icicles all of a sudden. And then they thaw super quick. But that's how you know that it's getting really cold. Okay. Now, the skin temperature read is at 4, 5, 7 degrees Celsius right now. And as she moves across the face, the temperature changes. And now, what we're trying to do is not stay in one spot and freeze the bejesus out of it, right? <laughs> like that would be pretty uncomfortable. So, we're going to keep the treatment moving and going across the face. And this is kind of a progressive chilling of the face. Now the area that we're in does get really cold pretty quickly. Um, but Antoinette, you can hold up a hand to show us on a scale of like one to five, five being like super uncomfortable, one being like easy peasy. What are you thinking right now? Oh, it's definitely a one. Definitely a one, she it says. It feels so good. It feels really good because today and yesterday I would say are some of the first super hot days that we've had this summer. <coughs> Excuse me. And so you can see the red laser beam, and that is what is telling us the temperature. And then the laser beam actually acts as an automatic off switch for the machine. So Anais can control it with the hand, um, and then she can also, you know, just keep it in one area, and when the skin gets to the right temperature, the machine will turn off automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, um, the temperature sensor on the device here. And that again is right here. So you can see when she starts in an area, how quickly it goes down to, what are we at, 10. Now, the it looks like the temperature of Antoinette's skin when we start the treatment is usually around 21, 24 degrees. And then we're getting it down to 5 degrees Celsius. So it is a significant cooling. All right, so whenever I have this treatment done, the forehead is kind of the trickiest part for me because it does it can feel a little bit like an ice cream headache um it's not unmanageable it goes away super quick and then the idea again is just to cover the whole face and keep the treatment moving so that we get that quick contraction and dilation of the blood vessels now the other thing that's cool again I don't know if the camera and the lighting is good enough for you to see but remember the redness that she had on her face after the Hawaiian papaya enzyme. (laughs) All of that is coming down, especially in the areas where she's been treated. A couple of passes with the the frozen sea. And then the other thing that's cool is you can see that the skin actually gets depressed or pushed in from the force of the frozen sea. Now, why does that matter? Why is that cool? When you have a little bit of pressure as opposed to just... (coughs) Sorry, as opposed to just kind of gliding along the top of the skin, you're actually able to push some of that carbon dioxide gas 
into the layers of the skin, right? And because we did the cleansing first, we did the enzyme to sort of open things up, we're getting more than a surface treatment. The carbon dioxide is actually getting, you know, infused into the skin so that it can effectuate that cooling faster and get that result. All right, is that it for the That's for the frozen part? It. Yeah, it's really quick and you can already tell that she's doing like her skin it doesn't look as flushed as it was when we had just, you know, removed that papaya enzyme. And we're gonna go ahead and remove her glycerin and then we're gonna add the uh, chlorophyll mask on top. Cool, so we'll do the chlorophyll mask and that'll be the final step. And again, when you're in here, it's gonna be super relaxing. We'll have the music on, super cooling. And you're just gonna see at the end how her skin is really gonna be glowing and really pretty. Crazy hair sticking up over here. Um, and again, you can only get this here right now. This frozen sea exclusive. device is exclusive to Arizona Facial Plastics. And I think maybe if you go to California, you could find it in a couple of practices. But this is really one of the newest innovations. Now, why cold air? Okay, I talked about this one time um, to some people I was talking to. You've probably heard of cryotherapies and they're using it a lot in um, like physical therapy. Physical therapy, or you can go to those places where you can pay money to be in a cryo tank. And the idea is that cooling the body gives your cells a rest, right? They're able to like take a break, calm down, cool down a little bit. And then when they're done being chilled, they'll be more active and able to heal better. And so cryotherapy for the body has been really growing in popularity and a lot of people are using it for real injuries, but then also just as kind of a health thing, right? Like I'm gonna go hang out in the cryo tank for for a couple minutes. I think you can get memberships where you can go weekly or monthly, right? Um, but not many people were using it in aesthetics for the face. And I don't actually think, I can't really think of anybody that was using it in aesthetics for the face. And so this is the first device that we have um, here where we're actually using that concept of cryotherapy and applying it in an aesthetics way to effectuate changes in the skin. Really try to make the skin respond well and be more beautiful, still that annoying hair, more beautiful afterwards. So here's Antoinette's face without the glycerin on it. Can you see you? Pretty good. And now we're gonna put the cucumber chlorophyll mask on. Now again, this mask was custom made for Antoinette by Anna East. Yes. Um, and we made it, you know, just a few minutes before the treatments. And so some of the benefits of that are that it's exceptionally fresh. Again, we are picking the ingredients that we're putting into it. There's the option to add things like a little bit of hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. If we're looking for some extra hydration and plumping for the skin, we can do, um, we frequently will put binterin in, which is a peptide we get from a another Korean supplier. Yeah. The Koreans have all the best facial stuff. Um, and then other cool stuff, like this one is the cucumber chlorophyll. Uh, I don't think you look quite as green as the people in Shrek, but it's very close. <laughs> it's close to kind of a Shrek look there. Um, and so, you were, <laughs> no, you think it looks like a Hulk? Was she Hulk? Okay, all right, we can go with she Hulk. <laughs> um, that's funny. I'm green with envy. That's a good one. That's what somebody commented. Okay, so those of you that have seen this, remember we started with the Hawaiian papaya enzyme to kind of loosen the skin and prepare it. We did the frozen sea treatment, which involves some glycerin to protect the skin. And now we're finishing with the chlorophyll cucumber mask. And again, this is really a um, perfect treatment for the summer months because it's cooling, it's hydrating, it's going to help dilate and constrict the blood vessels so that you get smaller pores, less inf inflammation, more even skin tone, reduced redness, extra hydrating, and, um, and it's called right now the Arizona Facial Chill. So if you have other ideas, please leave them in the comments. Even if you're watching this video after we're done with the live, go ahead and give us some ideas if you have a different name. Otherwise, that is the name that will stick, the Arizona Facial Chill. Yeah. And again, you can only get that here for a couple of reasons. Number one, not many people have the device and I think we're the only ones in Arizona. Number two, we are going to make your mask for you. Personalization is what it is all about these days. And so if you come in and you do your consultation with us, we're gonna take photos for you. We're gonna look at your skin, we're gonna analyze it, and we're gonna give you our recommendations. And if we see something in your skin 
uh, we're going to talk with you about it and we're going to say, hey, we think you should be adding this to your regimen or you look like you could use some extra vitamin C or, you know, perhaps you want to consider, I don't know, what else would you put in the mask based on people's individual skin yeah, so things? I like to think of it as like the possibilities are almost endless. Let's you can more. add all sorts of different things to these masks. Um, we like to add hyaluronic acid to help with hydration, which is really nice in these upcoming summer months because our skin gets so dry from the heat. Um, adding vitamin C can also help with um, antioxidants and protecting the skin and giving that nice bright glow. Come chill with us. Come chill, yeah. Come, yeah, chill, come with chill with us. With us. <laughs> um, the green alien from Star Trek. I can't think of, oh. I, like, I watch all kinds of Star Trek. <laughs> And I can't think of the green alien. I can't remember I think, I'm either. sorry, whoever came up with that. I think the Hulk is just a little bit more of a timely reference with all the Marvel movies <laughs> right now. So typically we would leave the mask on for about 15 minutes just to make sure that the um, ingredients really help to absorb in. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it now. And then we're going to finish up with um, a really nice moisturizer and, of course, some sunscreen because we did do an exfoliating treatment. So we want to make sure that the skin is protected. Okay, in case you didn't hear, Ana East, normally we would leave the mask on a little bit longer, but because we know you guys want to go to lunch and it's Thursday, get back to it before Friday, and we're going to go ahead and remove the mask. How's that feel? Uh, it feels as cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. Good one. And you can also see, again, let's get, oops, let's get her skin in there. See how smooth, how smooth it looks right now and how it really, um, you know, pretty much all the redness has come out of it. And then we're going to finish up with some different moisturizers and sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So, um, so if you guys have any questions about the frozen sea treatment, go ahead. Why can't you hear? If you can, you guys hear me, give me a thumbs up if you can hear. I don't know what happened with the sound, but anyways, good news is that we are almost done, and she's going to go ahead and finish the treatment with some moisturizer. She's going to go ahead and take, um, you know, she got the mask off, clean her up a little bit. We'll add sometimes a little bit of a facial massage with it, and then again at the end we'll customize the products that you leave with depending on what your skin's needs are. So whether that's a light moisturizer or an intense moisturizer, a sunscreen, um, sometimes we'll do a little bit of a BB cream so that you leave with, you know, even more even skin tone. And, um, and that's the experience. So come in, call us for the Arizona Facial Chill. The pricing on it is, I think it's $1.99. But if you tell us that you saw the live video, we will give you a discount. So it'll only be $1.50. But go ahead and watch the video. Let me know if you have any questions about it. And again, this frozen sea, the cryotherapy, it's uh, the newest thing. And it's doing amazing stuff for your skin, especially here in Arizona and in the summer months. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, the last video I did, I came up with a tagline to end these with. <laughs> I forgot to review and see what that was. Anyone remember? <laughs> No, we don't remember. I'll have the tagline on the next one. But basically, thank you so much for watching. And we look forward to seeing you in the office so that we can all age in a positive way together. Have a great day. Bye.